Hey YouTube, it's Lore and we're to play Minecraft, and we are um, back at our base again with an idea to share with the world that we're gonna need more fences, or not fences, sticks, or God, think of the right word. Okay, for right now, I'm gonna do the OCD thing and probably make my brain hurt really bad, but we're gonna do it anyway. And I'm going to do this. I believe that'll work. As that one block away, so. If we beat this up a little bit, then we should have, oh voila, opening. And what we're going to do as our first little assignment, we are going to, wow, that does connect right into that. It's not, oh, this is even connecting it. Super sucky shovel go. Hey, it's even blocking it. Get out of my way. Why isn't the corner filled? Okay, whatever. Oh, uh, well, that's not, or whatever. That needs to go away. Okay, let's fix this in. Now we have an entrance to the top, but it's kind of scary because now things are going to be able to get in. But uh, what I wanted to do up here was I was going to, let's see if I can do it correctly. I'm going to be building an up top farm on the top of my base because I really have no use for a farm anywhere else but on top of my base. Might sound a little weird and stupid, but it's how it's going to roll because I have like no other way of putting a farm is, is, I know the base is supposed to be, you know, wider than tall, but eh, it needs to have some sort of fine line between it. Because if it doesn't, then it's just going to look all stupid. And so far, I don't know how well this base is turning out so far. I kind of like the alpha base more. Well, I think everyone likes the alpha base more because the beta base is coming along nicely, but it is still just looking pretty crabtabular out here, so... But that could all change. I mean, it could get better. And sadly, there probably will not be a hub station for the beta base, which sucks because I really wanted one. But eh, there is no place for a hub tower, really. So it's just okay. So we're going to do our same setup we did for the last farm, where it's half uh, wheat, half other crap. So let's see how this will roll. So this will be wheat, and this will be. Eh, it's kind of the same setup, even though it's a little bit uneven. It's still the same setup. So, I don't, we don't, I did get, we don't, we don't, I get, I get, yeah, can't talk. Um, but I did get a little bit of seeds and some reed, which I couldn't find much reed. I think, I believe I found like three pieces of it because there's, there's a reed abundancy where I am and it's not too great. So, what we'll do is we'll just try to make the best of it. Uh, I don't know how much this will give us this farm. I, I know the last farm I barely even used. I wonder if everyone, anyone really noticed that. Like, no one really cared, I guess, to comment about, like, why aren't you using your farm? I did use it for, like, three episodes, but I ignored it for the most part. Okay, so now what we're going to need is we're going to need water, which I only have one bucket, so this could take forever. Unless, unless, unless I can make an infinite water pool. Where's the lake? It's all the way out there. Ooh, I can jump into... Oh, I can consistently jump into that lake. Bonsai! Ow. Peaceful, what? What are you doing on peaceful? Alright, fine. You can stay on peaceful. Just this once. Let's open up these doors, since it is on peaceful. Uh, I, I could change it on difficulty, but I will when it reaches nighttime. I guess. I don't know why it's on Oh, the adventure, damn it. That stupid adventure map is ruining my life, because it's taking forever to... Alright, this is going to be a pain in the ass if I can't get it right. So what we'll just do is we'll just make a freaking infinite water source right here and hopefully it works uh... do i do like that yeah i do do that and then we'll do we'll drop it off right about here and we'll go down and get another bucket of water and then we'll never have to worry about getting another freaking bucket of water ever again well for the most part there might still be water missing All right, does that look okay thank you and we'll continue trekking up to the top at where we will Deposit the other corner, and we will get an infinite water spring. I think I've already showed this before, but that's how you make an infinite water spring right here. There, now I'll we'll never have to worry about it ever again. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to fill this up with water, because we want our fountain to contain all natural vitamins and minerals now. But we want it to be wet. We want to make sure it's wet, and just be because my OCD will not allow me to have just a single stream, we have to have it like this. Uh, there's never going to be a video where I don't get interrupted. There's just never going to be one. It's just always going to happen. I think it's a normal thing that happens now, and that's almost done. This is probably going to take forever. I could just speed run it and just um, play some music in the background. But I don't know what to play because I don't really have a good music selection. 
I could play something from Donkey Kong Country Returns, because I do love the music in that game. The game has got some of the best music. If you don't have the game, you got to get it, because that game has, like, some of the freaking best music I've ever heard in a game itself. I don't know. It's going to take at least two more buckets. But, yeah, it's got, like, some of the best music in the game, especially the Rocket Barrel theme. If you don't know what it is, I could easily post a link in the description, or you could just look it up and stop being lazy. And actually, there's no point in editing this out, really. I can just continue talking about something. I don't have much to talk about, though. Oh, yeah, I figured out the main case of why I've been losing stuff. I wonder how that all turned out, because, you know, in my end, it turned out pretty horrible. Basically, I just got the charger died twice. It died, and then it died again. The battery was at 100%. It just died in literally 10 minutes. The recording has been going on for 7 minutes, so it died in, like, 6 minutes. That is just, that, that's not good. That's, I, I am completely sick of Windows. I am about to get a Mac because I'm sick of Windows. And it's shenanigans, but I don't like Macs because they're pretty craptacular, I heard. So, no. But still, it, it's got to be better than Windows and this shenanigans of not even wanting to work. Like, come on. Come on, now. It's just, it, it shouldn't have died 10 minutes if the battery is 100%. I mean, what's that? How fast of a battery drain is that? I'm not going to plug up the charger to my laptop consistently. It's a laptop. It's supposed to be portable. You shouldn't have to freaking tie the charger to it for it to work maximum. Oh, not in the mood, water. Not in the mood. As you can tell, I'm not in the mood for your shenanigans today, dear sir. The water. Okay. Oh, damn it. Oh, shenam it, damn it. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to break you. I know there's some way I can get both water sources. I think this is the way. Turns into one water source and I could just collect it. No. Okay. So if I dump it here, I can just keep collecting the water source, dumping it, collecting the water source, dumping it, collecting the water source, dumping it, collecting the water source, dumping it. All right. So we did it. We collected the water source and we dumped it. Okay. And I don't think, oh, we do still have our, oh, darkness. Darkness, you compel me. I hate you. Goodbye. Alright, so we do have, yet, yeah, like I said, uh, 6 wheat, or 26 wheat, that's definitely enough. So, let's go in the water, let's do some diving, and let's... I don't think these can give me seeds, but oh well. Okay, so let's do that, 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 and that. And you cannot see, so... Torch City, let's go, okay. Uh, people say that if you put torches by the crops, they'll grow faster, which is true. I'm not going to freaking inventory screen. I'm not going to say it's a lie, but that is true. If you put light near torches during nighttime, they will grow as fast. And in combination with the water, it should, go, it should be growing super fast. I mean, bone meal will make it grow, like, wicked fast, so it's a lot of stuff that can make it grow fast. What am I doing? I'm, like, choking on air. Come on. Stop. Alright, so I have absolutely no of none of this whatsoever. So what I could do is I could just plant you know, that glitch is really annoying and I love that that guy told me how to fix it. Alright, so we're gonna have to wait for all this crap to grow and we could just put on the little torch show for each of these. So we don't like lose anything. Stop with the thing. The thing and then the thing and then the ding and then the winging. No, you did it wrong. You're a fail. You're fired. Get out of here. Okay, there we go. So that's a light source for now. I, it might have a roof. It might not, depending. And I don't like the way it already looks already, so I like a torch on each end. Just because I'm a little bit of obsessive compulsive disorder like that. So I don't know how much of a light it'll give off. Well, the wheat's the only thing that needs the light. Not really anything else, so we'll just kind of face that and hopefully that'll work. I mean, I think I like it like this. I mean, it gives it a lot of exposure to the light, but it also gives it exposure to green exploding penises. So we have to keep that in mind. What we're going to do is we're going to give this an outer perimeter, just so we can, if we even have enough wood, and we kind of do, kind of don't, try to give us an outer perimeter just so we can have, just so we can have an outer perimeter, so we don't have to worry about most mobs. I will probably clean that area out in some, some of my off-screenness, because... I don't think that's really all that entertaining to be doing that consistently. Uh, so yeah, we'll probably do that and we'll clean it out. And I already have ideas for what I'm going to do with the base. I really want a cave, but like I said, this world does not have caves. So that's what it's at a loss for, which sucks because 
This world really does need some caves because caves are what makes Minecraft exciting. I mean, you can fill up your Let's Play with a bunch of builds like I do, but he, it doesn't make up for the fact that you're at a loss for ex any exploration now, does it? Yeah, so might have to fix that later on, but I don't know how. I could probably try to. I could make a cave. I could. What I could do is I could. Uh, if you guys want, it'll be obviously it'll be purely your decision. I'm not up for hacking. Usually, I don't hack for the most part. Well, at least not in Minecraft. I do have inventory edit though, but I don't use it except for when I'm building something. Like I built a giant castle one time. I had to use inventory edit for that. But you know, other than that, I don't relatively use hacking. But what I'm trying to get here is, um, if you guys want, I could basically hack a bunch of TNT. Put it in a crater and just constantly blow it till I find a cave. Do you think that'd be an effective way to find a cave? I mean, for you guys, do you think that'd be really interesting? Or you think, nah, I don't think you should do that. I mean, it's not really safe for anything. And, you know, oh wow, I left my door open. Um, but, you know, you might not think, eh, don't do that. I mean, it's not really, it could leave a huge mark and stuff. But, you know, it might be good for entertainment value. But we like, all got to keep in consideration to my computer and how crappy it is. And we will, what we'll keep doing is... <sighs> ah, we won't. Okay. And what we'll do is we'll just block it off like that and for nighttime. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. It has been Stalora, and I know this is the dreaded ending to every video that no one wants to hear because y'all love my video so much, right? Yeah. Yeah, I know. Self-encouragement. We're going to need some more wood because I believe we're... No, we're not out. We have 26 in our inventory. We could take a quite, quite, a quite bit of a nap and wake up to some... What are you doing? You stupid thing. Right, we crouch up. Yeah, what? What? You crouch on your bed and you like dance. That's kind of funny. You like bob your head. Where am I? Am I, on? I was Try doing that. Sleep on a bed and then crouch and like move around. That is so much fun. <laughs> it's like you're dancing. Okay. So what we'll do is... We're not going to do anything right now, but... What if the crops grow during nighttime, daytime cycles? I don't want to waste more time, but I must... I must waste more time. It's what the soul and nah, we only need one. It's what the sole intention of all these videos are is to waste time. Do crops grow over time? Yeah, they kinda do. Yeah, well nighttime doesn't give them much room to grow at all, but we'll see how daytime works. Alright guys, so thank you for watching this has been Stalor and we'll see you guys in the next Minecraft video. Have a great day.